Welcome to Focus on a Scholarship. I'm Jale Rezaei, Associate Dean of Graduate Education and Research, and your host for today's session. Our goal at graduate school and university libraries is to bring a focus and awareness to the exciting scholarly and creative achievements of our academic community. Our guest today is Derek Nikitas, a faculty member in the Creative Writing MFA program at Eastern Kentucky University. Derek's first novel, Pyrus, was an Edgar nominee and was published in 2007. He has also published several short stories in Elry Queen Mystery Magazine and the Ontario Review. Today, we are going to talk with Derek about his second novel, The Long Division, which was released on October 27. Welcome to our program, Derek. Thank you for having me. Please tell us a little bit about The Long Division. The Long Division is a suspense novel, a character-based suspense novel about a woman named Jody Larkin, who is a house cleaner in Atlanta and uh, makes a sort of spur of the moment decision to steal some money from one of her clients and go on the road. And the reason she does that is because she wants to reconnect with uh, the 15 year old son that she gave up for adoption uh, when he was born. That's one of the story strands in the novel with a few other story strands, but they all sort of revolve around the issue of, uh, of broken families that are coming back together again after a long separation or a long division, which is where the title comes from. So. Yes, there are very exciting characters, interesting characters. Thank you. How do you develop the story and um, characters for your novel? Well, a lot of my uh, story ideas tend to come from uh, news pieces that I see. Uh, I mean, mainly the stories that I'm interested in are those that involve people involved in criminal activities or victims of criminal activities or investigating criminal activities, mainly because I think you know, people who have that kind of drama in their lives make for good stories. Um, and I tend to notice things in either print media or on television that spark my imagination. Uh, somebody will do something bizarre and I'll ask what kind of person would do something like that. And those ideas tend to pool together in some kind of way over time to create the plots for my novels. For instance, uh, for The Long Division, I was for a long time interested in the idea of um, non-custodial parents who kidnap their children. Uh, particularly women who do that because it's so unusual in the first place that women don't have custody of their kids. And I was also interested in the idea of people who reconnect with their birth parents after a long period of time in their you know, teenage years or adult years. And those two ideas sort of started to weave themselves together over time and build the main plot line for the book. It's a fascinating mystery. Um, for your first novel, uh, you were nominated for an Edgar uh, award, which, as I understand, is a major uh, award for um, mystery novel writing. Mm -hmm. Do you consider yourself primarily a mystery writer? Yes and no. Uh, I, I did not realize that I was a mystery writer per se uh, until I got the Edgar nomination. Although, I mean, I should have realized it because my, my publisher, uh, the, the imprint that uh, the book came out in is a mystery imprint. But uh, it happened mainly by accident. With the first novel, I was really interested in exploring um, what would happen to a, a young woman who was faced with a certain trauma. Um, but then as I was writing the novel, I realized that uh, you know, because of this trauma that occurred, which is the, the murder of her father, there would be police investigations involved. And there would be people trying to figure out who did it and all of that kind of stuff, which is sort of obvious. But, uh, and so I realized I had to pull a police investigator into the story uh, and the structure that it eventually found was one of a, uh, of a mystery. Uh, between the publication of the first book and the second book is when I've read more mysteries than, any, than ever before because suddenly I'm being told that I'm a mystery writer so I figured I better know what that was. Um, so yeah, I think now, in a lot of ways, a lot of what I do ha tends to have that structure. Um, but some of my short stories you wouldn't necessarily call mysteries. The new novel uh, is not a traditional mystery in the sense that it, uh, you know, it doesn't have, it's not a whodunit, it doesn't have a, 
uh, any sort of murder in it that you have to figure out who the murderer is or anything like that. Well, that sort of leads to my next question, uh, what happened between the two books. How do you think your writing has changed or developed between the Paris and now the Long Division? Well, yeah, for one, it's a lot more influenced by um, some more contemporary uh, mystery writers now than, than I can say my, my first novel was, mainly because I wasn't reading a lot in that genre. And one of the things that I learned um, from mystery writers in general is, uh, is to be a lot more spare in my writing. I had a really sort of ornate, uh, some would say overwritten style for uh, Pyres. Could probably have been cut down by about 50 pages or so. Uh, so what I really wanted to do with The Long Division was uh, find ways to, you know, to, to say a lot more with a lot fewer words. Um, and on the other hand, I didn't want to write the same sort of police investigate a murder uh, sort of storyline. So I wanted to concentrate a lot more on character concentrate a lot less on plot, so there aren't a whole heck of a lot of major plot twists like there were in Pyres, um, so that I could spend more time focused on the characters and their reactions to events and their emotions and so forth. 